Hello, and thanks for checking out this video from Placing Culture, which along with various other tutorials is also located at placingculture.blogspot.com. My name is David Meek, I'm currently a doctoral candidate in the Anthropology Department at the University of Georgia. Through this blog, I try to provide some insights into how evolving cartographic technologies and methods are increasingly mediating our understanding of the myriad interrelations between culture and place. In this screencast, I illustrate the basics of creating mosaics. Mosaics are handy when you have various images, such as from a satellite or an airplane, that are georectified and overlapping. To be clear, mosaicing is not to be used for georectifying, but for combining images that are already georectified. This tutorial will focus on the basics of mosaicing using Erdos Imagine 2010. Subsequent tutorials will explore more advanced aspects of mosaicing, such as image manipulation. So we start by going to the toolbox and then down to Mosaic, which is right next to Model Maker. So under Mosaic there's various options. Today we're going to look at Mosaic Pro. In subsequent screen press, I'll check out Mosaic Pro from Tubi. Mosaic Express uses a GUI, a wizard sort of tool to guide you through the process. But let's start out with Mosaic Pro. Uh, first step is always to add the images. So go down to Edit, Add Images. And then you just navigate as you normally would to the image you want. Now to visualize the image, to see it on the screen, there's two things you need to do. You need to go down under the VIS Viz box and click that. And then go back up to the button at the top, which says Display Raster Images. Once you click that, you should see the image that you've added. Now let's add another image. Back to Edit, Add Images, select the image that we want. and that image appears next to it. Now you'll notice that there is this blue rectangle around the images, around each image. One's blue, one's yellow. That indicates the position of the image, not necessarily the space that the image itself occupies. So let's go back up and add another image. See the box highlighting the new image that we've added. This is the blue box. Let's click the uh, check mark next to Viz, and then we'll get the third image back again. And now things seem to look okay. You know, the images are in the order that we'd like them, they look good. Now press the red execute button, which is always the red lightning bolt. So we've added our output file name, pressed OK. And now you'll see the window come up uh, for the process list, and it will start doing its thing. And after a little while, it'll show 100%. Done. So close that window, go back to your main Erdos uh, viewer, and open the raster layer. And I'll click on Recent because it'll take me to the most recent file that I've created. And lo and behold, there it is. There's the mosaic that we just created. So in order to see the full mosaic, you want to go up to Zoom to Data Extent. Oh no, that looks a little strange. Let's zoom in and see if it really is as dark as it looks like. Well, it's dark, but as you can also see, it seems like the order of the images is not quite right. The one with the white border uh, is on top, and that's not really what we want. Well, that's all the time we have for today. This has been screencast number one, The Basics of Mosaics. My name is David Meek, and you can contact me at dmeek at uga.edu, or visit Placing Culture at placingculture.blogspot.com for more tutorials. Thanks.